20 years ago, a design for a scalable quantum computer based on encoding information on an array of phosphorus atoms in a silicon lattice was conceived at UNSW Sydney. This approach of building a computer chip out of individual atoms was long thought to be impossible, but a team of researchers has now created a super-fast two-qubit gate, the central component of a quantum computer, validating this idea. Over the past two decades, we've developed completely new fabrication technologies that have pushed the boundaries of what's humanly possible at the very smallest scale of the quantum realm. Donor qubits in silicon have held the world record for the longest coherence time and highest fidelities. Using our atomic fabrication technique, we can optimize every aspect of the chip. We've demonstrated exquisite control to achieve extremely high fidelities. and We've demonstrated the lowest electrical noise atomic scale circuitry to connect to that qubit. And now, with our atomic precision manufacturing capability, we've been able to build a really fast, highly accurate two-qubit gate, the fundamental building block of a scalable quantum computer in silicon. The team uses a scanning, tunneling microscope to precision place and encapsulate phosphorus atoms in silicon. Getting the distance between the two qubits is critical. We can engineer the whole device with atomic precision. We've managed to place the qubits just 13 nanometers apart in a silicon crystal. This exact distance allows us to quickly control the interaction between them. We have also been able to fabricate the whole control circuitry with sub-nanometer precision to maintain our high fidelities. This circuitry allows us to entangle the electron spins that hold the encoded qubits by applying voltages to the gates. We have controllably moved the electron spins together for nanoseconds, then brought them apart and measured what had happened to them. Tracking in real time what state the qubits are in, how they interact and evolve. Using this interaction, we can entangle the two qubits and swap their states by timing how long we let them intact. This is the first time anyone's been able to interact two electron spins between different atom qubits. A lot of people thought this wouldn't be possible since it is at the very limit of human engineering needed for every aspect of the device. And this was the final fundamental experiment we needed to do to prove that we could actually build a quantum computer out of atoms. Our next goal is building a 10 qubit quantum integrated circuit and we're aiming to do this within the next three to four years.